Hello, everyone. Today is Monday, June 10th. It's 4.19 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The regular session for the futures markets closed about 15 minutes ago, and then the settlement trades go off till 4.15, so about four minutes ago. And you can see my computer clock on my right. On my left is the time in sales. The last trade on the E-mini S&P was 28.89.75. It was a fantastic day for the auto trader today. Uh, all the charts that I'm running in live simulation, uh, just about everything I followed hit its goal or scored positive. First up is the EMIT S&P on a super rank of four tick. Uh, this is trading one contract and hit its goal of 450 and had uh, two ticks of positive slippage. You can see the trade here. And this is a higher time frame filter of Superenco 8. Okay, the DAX on a 150 hike and ASHI chart did 625. This is a uh, using our higher time frame filter and starts trading at uh, 930, the US session. And there was a nice move off the open of the US session here in the DAX. And that was caught. Uh, you can see how well the open range filter worked. And uh, the goal on this I have set at 750. So I'm guessing we hit our goal and there was probably some slippage. Okay, the crude oil on a 987 tick Heiken Ashi chart had relatively two small losers here and then a really nice winning trade here and did 440 for the day. The goal on this is 450, so definitely hit its goal and had one tick of slippage. Okay, the mini S&P trading a single contract has a goal of 375. And this is also using the open range filter and and filtered by our line break logic. So this uh, definitely hit its goal and had uh, a tick or so of slippage. And that was done on a single trade right here. Okay, the crude oil on the Superenco 8 tick uh, was had mixed uh, results until it finally came up and hit our goal, uh, partially due to this nice short trade here and and followed by this long. The max drawdown for the day was only about two hundred thirty dollars, which it did twice. First equity high here was about three hundred. The goal on this is five hundred, so shy of its goal, but. This is only trading a single contract. So we've showed this both with one contracts and two contracts. So I think what happened here is it hit its goal and had slippage and ended up at 460. Okay, the DAX on a Super Inco 6 tick starts trading at 3 a.m. Uh, using our Step MA filter. And this uh, is trading two contracts. And so it hit its goal of 950 on a single trade. Trading was finished within 20 minutes. This is also using our weekly open range filter. Okay, the DAX on a six range chart using our open range filter uh, drew down about 225 per contract or 450, but then recovered and finished at 737.50. And you can see the trades here. There's basically uh, three winners, but w but one of the contracts uh, here was a loser. Forgot to show that there was a loser to start here, and this drew down about $400 or 200 per contract. This is trading two contracts. Okay, the NASDAQ on a 987 Heiken Ashi chart. Looks like it had two winners and two lo losers. A uh, very minor drawdown here of $100 and did 975 the goal on this is 1025 trading two contracts so this definitely hit its goal okay the nasdaq on a 150 hike and ashi chart with a higher time frame filter of super Inco 10 it's trading two contracts and has a goal of 1550 and it came up here to about 1200 uh, first equity high was about 700 and then came up to 1200 and then settled in at 860. So moderately active and 
should probably have a lower goal on this chart. NASDAQ on a 1597 Heike and Ashley tick chart did 685 and this is trading two contracts with a goal of 1050 so again shy of its goal. Looks like our first equity high was about 600 and then it drew down about 700 and then recovered and finished at 685. Okay the DAX on a 34 tick line break chart did not draw down negative and finished at 587.50. This is trading a single contract. And you can see that here, the goal is 550, so this uh, hit its goal and had positive slippage. Okay, the E-mini S&P on a four range chart. Looks like it had a single trade here right off the open and hit its goal. The goal is 400, it did 375, so it had a couple of ticks of slippage. And this is using our open range filter. Okay, next up is the super reliable E-mini S&P on a regular five Renko chart. And this has a higher time frame of Super Renko 8. This is trading a single contract with a fixed target of 32 ticks and then trailing at 16 ticks by a bar. And so uh, this basically uh, hit its goal and had to take a slippage when it hit its goal. But uh, the limit pullback of four ticks uh, lowers your risk by quite a bit. On this trade here, our entry was 28.91. And if you got a close below 89.50, you would be stopped out. Whereas if this was a stop or market order, uh, you would get filled at uh, or a limit order at the close of the bar, you'd get filled at 28.93 and a quarter, and you would get stopped out here at 28.89.50 or 89 a quarter. That is uh, four full points versus only one and a half points from down here. Okay, the Emini S&P on a Super Anko six tick chart with a higher time frame filter of Super Anko six is trading a single contract with a goal of 400 and this did 387.50. Okay, forgot to show this, but this is the DAX on a Super Anko 6 tick with the Step MA filter and our open range filter. And this starts trading at the uh, open of the US session. And uh, this did 1325 on two contracts. And you can see how it wasn't affected by all this noise here. It just stayed long. And that's the whole idea of these filters. And the goal on this is 1500. So uh, it might have hit its goal and had some slippage, but very solid performance here. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.